MSNBC aired a Jay-Z concert. What? Yeah. Like, MSNBC is a news outlet. It's yeah. 24 hours. And for some reason, I don't know how that worked out, but they had the Global Citizen Festival and Jay-Z performed. And what's great is I remember when the Stones played the Ed Sullivan show. The Stones laid down the law. They told Mick Jagger, don't say trying to get some girl pregnant. If you do, we'll throw you out of here and you'll never be on again. I think these guys, these white guys who run these stations are afraid to talk to rappers. I think they're scared of them because Jay-Z is on there. And then they start, you know how they bleep? Bleeping, yes. But the bleeping goes on way too long. This is really what aired on MSNBC during a Jay-Z uh, concert. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you know what? I was going to say that? something to you about that no. because I watched a little bit of the BET Awards. I had them on. I had recorded it, and I finally got around to sit, you know, watching it. And Lil Wayne came on and sang a song. Right. And I don't know what he said yet because apparently whatever he was saying, he was saying it so often that it was bleep, 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 and, and like the and and in, in the middle. So I have no idea what the song was about. And I, I thought to myself, why bother to have this performance if you can't air it? Here's clip number two of Jay-Z. Here we go. I mean, just sit back and listen to this. I'm really enjoying this music. <laughs> now what y'all know about that Brooklyn boy? Isn't that great? Uh, one more example, because I just love it. it. makes me laugh every time I hear it. Because I like that they're airing the concert. And they can't sit this guy down and go, look, we're airing this thing. Change it. Yeah. Or or don't air it. I think the nigga, nigga got, it, it, it slipped <laughs> yeah, out. They slipped missed out. that. Because they, they bleed for so long. I think, they have I think to... that's what Little Wayne was saying a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think they, I, uh, it, yeah, so like, what's the point? <laughs> I and mean, they come back and you hear nigga and motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, the two worst things. I mean, l listen to the editing. It's these big, long edits. He and probably they... said nothing in those big, long right. edits. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, you probably wouldn't even notice those words if they just aired them. But now you've, you've, you you've gone really dead. You can really hear them. You've gone dead for 20 minutes, and then they come back to nigga and motherfucker. <laughs> so great anyway i yeah i guess the executives can't walk over and say look dudes we're putting this on tv well you know what if they want radio airplay they certainly figure it out yeah. they change they have dip the radio mix and then they have the live mix king of all blacks you're on the air good morning good morning i'm just um, i got two things about gary and them yesterday but the first thing i want to say if you if you sit or tired not sick but tired why don't you just take a sick day I don't operate that way. Oh, that's not how I operate, they, they, King. I, you know, if someone pays me to do a job, I do it, and I, um, you know, I, I abide by my contract. I don't call in like, hey, I'm, like the alarm goes off and I'm tired, and I just go, oh, I'll just call in sick. I mean, we've we've lined up guests. It's, you know, I, I, I'm oh, way too responsible for that. So they lucky to have you. <laughs> no, it's that's how you're supposed to behave. Oh. I hate to break the news to you. I know you don't want to hear that. You've got the no, mentality of a, uh, a civil servant, um, and not, by the way, all civil servants have this mentality, but uh, you're kind of like, hey, fuck it, man. I'm, I they give me it. sick time I'm supposed to take. It. Yeah, I, I'm, so, I'm so not like that. You know, I never took paternity leave. I never, you know, I just. Uh, <laughs> we still haven't talked to Shuli about that. I think Shuli's hiding. I don't know why he's hiding. It. <laughs> it's so funny the, with his paternity leave. Uh, actually, yeah, uh, Shuli would be here this morning, but his water broke. Uh -oh. yeah. No, I understand I, I would... nowadays men take paternity. Shuli. <laughs> Dude, I know you. 
And uh, how do I look? Yeah, <laughs> you're not showing. You look, yet. You, you look, you look pregnant actually. So I can't blame you, but you the know, beating listen. I got from my dad is much worse. Yeah, than... I, I know you, yeah. and uh, you know, I get that you want to take a month off, but uh, and I'm not putting you down for it. If if you feel it's important, maybe you got a circumstance I don't know about, but a month, I think you're going to go insane. Oh, I'm already insane. I haven't even started. So this why thing. are you taking a month off? Like like when my kids were born, I took. I took three days. Right. You know. I, the, when we had our first, uh, my first daughter, I think I took one, one or two yeah. days off. I didn't even know there was a paternity leave th that existed. And, no. and you managed. And I did. Yeah. And, and so, but after the kid was born, my wife went through a real bad postpartum mm -hmm. depression. Yeah. Right. And it was bad, and it, and it yeah. almost ruined everything for us. Oh, I see. So. Yeah, because you was the father. <laughs> <laughs> you suddenly yeah. realize you were the dad. I'd be depressed, too. So, uh, yeah, well, at least right. I know I'm a dad king, unlike right. you. But anyhow, uh, what? I was... What? I, I, what? What? Uh, what does that mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you got some children's running around. That's oh, right. come on, man. Come on. Come, come on. on. A guy who loves feet like you? Come just... on. Come on. Yeah, no, go I, ahead. No, just no, stick I... to the topic. What about your paternity <laughs> leave? So, yeah, yeah, so the company actually came to me. And told me I I didn't go looking for paternity leave. I didn't even know it existed because I never took one the first time. I mean, it seems uh, peculiar to me, but I mean, you say well you're... in that month, you know, like yeah. they, everybody's talking about the bonding with the right. baby. In that month, you, you think there's enough bonding to last a lifetime because you're going back to work. My kid isn't going to remember anything in that month. <laughs> first right. of all, and listen, and, and let's the reality be honest. Is, yeah. I legally have to pretend that I think you know, hey, this is cool. But I mean, off the record. What the fuck's wrong with you? I know. Listen, you know what I mean? As a husband and father, <laughs> I have to be record. like, I'm there for you. But Listen. as a guy who's trapped in an apartment with people that oh are driving me crazy. Oh, my God. And what a waste of vacation time. I and mean, the hormones Lord. I'm dealing with right now are ridiculous. Like, like my wife, my wife is hysterical. I love my wife. She's right. one of the funniest people I've ever met. Now she's just mean because she's got these <laughs> hormones. So now all all the like jokes about other people are now just directed at me. Like she. So why didn't you stop with the one kid? Uh, why two? What was the plan there? Well, the, I'll be honest with you. It wasn't a, a really super <laughs> well thought out plan. It oh, kind of happened, God. and so you know we're you rolling know with the punches. Where babies come from? Yeah. I know where babies you come from, Robin. I've made baby. one. It's called a rubber or something. <laughs> I know. I know. We have a guy that we. Did you, did you, did you at least make a boy this time, or no? No, I made another girl, King. How do you know that? You got the. Uh, Did you check it out? You check yeah. It out? Well, we're a week away from having the thing. Like, it, 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 have you um, uh, have you been taking a lot of flack for your month uh, paternity leave? Have the people in the Howard 100 newsroom giving you a hard time? No, but my my dad. I talked to my dad a couple weeks ago, and you know, my dad, old school Israeli, was in the army. You know, yeah. fought for the state of Israel, worked right. seven days a week. When we lived in L.A., where he worked, he owned a car wash. It was a, a, an hour and a half away from home. He drove seven days a week back and forth and worked. So what is he look at you like so i tell him i go so i got this paternity leave coming up and he just silenced for like three seconds <laughs> on the phone you woman and then, he, yeah, and then he says he goes i understand it's uh, very difficult for your body to snap back into shape <laughs> after having a child well, so when are you leaving uh, so, so our due date is october 10th and uh october 9th is when right. i start my paternity right, goodbye leave. So i'm holding out as long All as right. i can there you go well you know listen uh, i and back he truly now acts as if he's being forced to take it well i am there's there's Julie was a caller to our show, and I decided to put him on the team and make him a part of our staff, and you know, change hopefully change his life for the better. But uh, listen, he's got to go. He's got to go for a month <laughs> and take care of a duty. baby. I lasted duty. nine uh, years. Now, now I have a month. Hey, Julie. Hey, Julie, did you ever have hair? Yeah, I did. Absolutely. <laughs> did you ever have hair? I believe he was born uh, this way and he yeah. stayed that way. <laughs> <laughs> I like how King doesn't get paternity leave. I I understand King. You probably worked the whole I time. Went your right wife. To work. I went. I, I, did I, you at least come home for lunch and and hit your wife and then go back to work? Man, nah, come on, don't go overboard. I, oh, what? We're bringing up hair. I'm bringing up fun, stuff I know about you. <laughs> Listen, last yesterday I'm listening to Gary and and and, and uh, Sal and all of them pushy, and they're they're talking to JD. Like, like, uh, uh, you know, like. Hey, uh, thank you, uh, King. King gives a fuck. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where he's um, yeah, going. Yeah, he's, sometimes he can be the biggest boar, king of all <laughs> boars. Um, hey, Gary, um, Will just had a Hey, Will, didn't you just have a baby? Yeah, did Will take maternity leave? Will I mean, maternity leave. Will was offered it, and he chose not to take it. Mm. Listen to me, I'm calling it maternity <laughs> leave. <Yeah. laughs>
<laughs> well, what happened to you? You were you, tell us your story. Didn't you just have a baby recently? I, I had a baby a year ago. Yeah, and uh, I was okay. offered the uh, the paternity leave, and I said uh, I'm not that much of a of a yeah, woman, so I'll, I'll actually come to work. <laughs> yeah. No, I, and I his kids don't sure. know who he is. Yeah. My kids know exactly who no, I am. It, let those, me tell you, those two kids. That's a big difference. Yeah, for sure. sure and is. Holy yeah. cow! Oh, I, I, I like. I'll go through the airport to go do a gig and fly somewhere, and I see people with two kids, and it's like watching a magic trick. Like I'm like, <laughs> I don't know how they fucking do this. <laughs> right. Uh, it's hard work, right? Well, it's brutal. It's it's like crazy. it's nonstop. I mean, they don't they don't rest. I do this, and then I go to my second job. It's, yeah. It really is. It's another job. <laughs> right. My kid is like terrified right now. My three year old of, of taking a dump. Yeah. And it's like terrified. it was funny at first, and now it's like it's causing in. Incredible yeah, stress. Now it's like you would take a fucking dump. It, it's awful. Yeah. Why is he terrified? You think he's gonna fall down uh, the it's, toilet? I guess it's like a common thing. These kids. They really? I've never heard poop. of that before. Maybe if you took some time and we're home. So what did you do? Oh. <laughs> if he stayed Don't worry, a month. Maybe you need a, maybe you need a month off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My kid's gonna be yeah, shitting like a champ in a month. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His kid's already shitting. Over. Please. All over the exactly. place. What do you, so so what do you do? The kid will shit in his pants instead of going in the toilet? <sighs> no, he's not even that. He just holds it for like four or five days. Wow. Oh. I do that. He did last night. You're like his child. You're terrified. Well, I mean, one of my duties is precious. <laughs> I don't want to give it up. I know. We need a little squatty yeah, potty. So, so is he walk around in pain and he's uncomfortable? Yeah, it's awful. It's terrible. Oh and then when he has to go, it is really horrible, right? Well, you know, we've been trying to give him some stool softeners and that type of thing. So but... how does the shit, like, how does he keep a shit in for like three or four days? He like... just holds it and then he was running around naked the other day and the turtle had a little bit of a shark <laughs> and I didn't catch it and I was worried he was going to run it all into the couch. <laughs> have your kids, have you ever caught your kids kill me for talking playing with it? Like, no, play with I haven't their seen shit? that. Oh, dude. Your like, kids play with your shit? Oh, yeah, my God. What? My daughter, when she was two, oh. she'd be up at like 2, 3 in the morning. My wife's like, go check on her. Uh, and I look in the monitor, and she's just standing up with her hands on the rail playing. I walk in. It's like somebody threw a shit grenade into her crib, <laughs> and it exploded all over the place. But, but what did she do? She undid her diaper? Yeah. and uh, Yeah, and her diaper there? somehow came off. She she took a dump and took it out and just started painting the crib. Maybe you didn't and her... put the diaper on properly. Uh, well, this is why I need a month off to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, it's just, and you're up at 3 a.m. and you're dry heaving, you're ready to vomit? I'll be honest with you. When my kids were born, you know, I took some time off from work to go to the hospital and be part of that, but <laughs> I don't think I would have wanted to be home because I, work was easier. I am, listen, I am worried about my wife. I right. want to make sure, because we okay. only have help for like four days. Her mom's coming for four days and that's it. Uh -oh. And she's leaving. See, so the then mom it's just us. To get out of there. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah <laughs> but tell the mom to stay for longer. That's her mom. Yeah. See, I would worry it would cause more stress with you in this like small apartment with the two kids there. Like you're on top yeah, of it. Yeah, but then, the time. like, I get what Shirley's saying. He, he wants to check out, make things, you know, make sure there isn't any postpartum or anything. And then he wants to, you know, like he was never, to sleep 12 hours. That's right. good, too. It was, never, it was never an issue of her. Like, I was never worried about the kid. It was just, she was so depressed and just wasn't doing anything. And it right. was just, and it was a bummer. And it, it fucked everything up. Did it know? last a month? No, it lasted It lasted a while. See, it this is what I'm while. saying. A month does nothing. But, you know, a month is what I got. Yeah, that's, that's why I wouldn't have had another kid. That sounds like a fucking nightmare. Well, listen, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Shit happens. I mean, gotta... I understand your wife being depressed, believe me. Uh, <laughs> Look at me. Look <laughs> <I'm laughs> she married up. Everyone predicted your wife would be depressed. I know. <laughs> She's yeah, married to you. Why are they calling it postpartum? You should it's, be called Julie uh, depression. It's post-wedding. No, but, but in all seriousness, I understand what you're saying. But what if you, like, see, after a week or two, things are going smoothly? Are you going to... You gonna, Come Everything's back, you... fine. You don't. You're yeah. not needed. Oh, if if there's an emergency cord that I can pull <laughs> and, and get out of there, I, I right, will. Well, there you have all the exclusive. All right, hey, I got to take a break. Thank you, Shirley. Good luck with you. Uh, uh, Shirley, don't don't trip on your high heels. Oh, <laughs> thanks, buddy. See you later. Uh, it's time for Robin's news. Let's go right to it. Robin's Your body's way of crying. I, I think they got 
Gary and uh, doing the trumpet. On. Yeah, that's right, Rob. Good for you. Uh, noticing. But what a terrible thing to do to a Smokey Robinson. Melody. I bet you Smokey's listening and loving it right I'm now. I'm hoping he can hear it. He should have put that out on the new album with Elton John. Uh, yeah, that's little Mikey. Beautiful job, Mikey. Beautiful, beautiful sentiment in that. About your vagina, uh, Robin. Uh, Robin, uh, what is so, in the news? Such a great poet, and then there's Mikey. Right. What is in the news? Well, did you see this? I can't hear you. What? I did the whole story. Did you miss it? Uh, yeah. What did you say? <laughs> I missed it. Former New York Governor George Pataki may be thinking of running for president, according to a report in the New York Post. All right. The paper says Pataki.